Hello, welcome to my channel. So today I will be discussing the summary of Disgrace. Disgrace is a novel by J. M. Kodzi and it was published in 1999. So the book won the Booker Prize in the same year. The writer was also awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature four years after its publication. So this novel is set in South Africa. Little bit about the characters, the main protagonist, the protagonist of the play is David Lurie. He is a 52 year old communication professor and he has been divorced twice and has one child, has one daughter and her, the name of her daughter is Lucy and Lucy owns a farm. So in this novel, David Lurie loses everything. His reputation, his job, his peace of mind, his dreams of artistic success and finally his ability to protect his own daughter. So the professor David Lurie works at a university in South Africa, has been through two divorces and is now estranged from his daughter Lucy resulting in his withdrawal from positive social interaction. So David regularly meets with a prostitute Soraya but when he attempts to push their relationship into something romantic Soraya denies him. David deals with this rejection by seducing one of the secretaries at his school but after this success he ignores her. So still facing sexual urges, David turns his attention to one of the students in his romantic poetry class, Melanie Isaac. She is a 24-year-old, very beautiful girl. So, so Melanie Isaac, whom he seduces after using his access to university records to stalk her. Though Melanie eventually gives in to David's relentless and inappropriate pursuit, his obsession is obviously unhealthy. He repeatedly follows her, spies on her, and pressures her into sexual intercourse. Melanie is hesitant during their sexual encounters, and at one point, David uses alcohol and other actions to engage in an encounter that is completely consensual. After this rape, Melanie's attendance in class began to suffer. David becomes suspicious that the other students are aware of the affair. Melanie's boyfriend confronts David and harass him and it's implied that David that the boyfriend vandalizes David's car so the name of the Melanie's Isaac boyfriend is Ryan so Ryan vandalizes David's car so Melanie fathers Mr. Isaac confronts David confirming David's fears that relationship is no longer a secret David avoids Mr. Isaac in order to avoid the confrontation but Melanie soothes soon files a sexual harassment suit against David. Even this is not enough to spur David into reflecting upon his behavior. The university gives David an opportunity to seek counseling, uh, apologize and save his job, but he does none of that. The committee hearing looking into sexual harassment charge play out like a court case and eventually David resigns his position at the university. David heads in to the farm owned by his daughter Lucy. His time there begins to have some positive effect on him as he settles into the routine of the farm. He joins Lucy at the farmer's market and helps tend to the dogs she boards on the property. His positive momentum is disrupted however as the political climate in that country changes. Three men attack the farm, rape Lucy, set David on fire and kill several of the dogs. The attacker steals David's car and leave. Lucy is deeply scared emotionally from the attack and she became lethargic as a result. Though David encourages her to make full report to the police, she refuses. She has become pregnant by the attackers. David suspects that one of the farm's black workers was complicit in the attack and when his suspicions are confirmed, Lucy again refuses to make appropriate reports. The worker is related to one of the attackers. Lucy, it seems, will be forced to marry into attacker's family, giving over her farm. David believes Lucy has resigned herself to this outcome. David leaves the farm and returns to his house in Cape Town. In his absence, someone has broken into the building. David tries to attend the th theatre performance in which Melanie has a part but is harassed again by her boyfriend Ryan. 
David goes to apologize to Melanie's father. While there, David encounters Mr. Isaac and Melanie's younger sister. David is is invited to stay for an awkward dinner. Mr. Isaac explained to David that any forgiveness he could offer David is irrelevant. David must find his own redemption. The end of the book finds David returning to Lucy's farm. He works with one of Lucy's friends who operates an animal shelter. When animals are euthanized, David's job is to dispose of them. David protects one of the dogs or tough stray from being euthanized but eventually relents and the dog is ultimately put down so this additionally this sex and sexual attraction fuels many of the characters decision especially the main characters david's his frequent and ultimate obsession and refusal by prostitutes sent his life into a downward spiral and the way he plays the game of sexual conquest ruined his career Sex is presented as a matter of conquest and then ultimately as weapon, as Lucy's rape is reflected in David's rape of Melanie. In the end, these sexual encounters are statement of power and the effects of the rape serves to underline who has the power and who wants it and how it can be wielded. I hope this little video is helpful for you. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like the video and share it with your friends.